After hours at the bargaining table, no deal has been reached. Yeah, the city and police union wrapped up discussions for the night without coming to an agreement on the union's contract. The city has been saying in order to pass a balanced budget, a deal has to be reached by next Thursday. If that didn't happen, city council would vote on a proposal that members liked the most. That angered the union, but the group delivered a counteroffer to the city. The two sides agree on a health care plan that has officers paying premiums for dependents in the last two years of the five-year contract. The sticking point, wage increases. I think, you know, you, we're, we're still about $20 million apart. Um, the public safety, the cost of public safety, the 66 percent has been a debated issue for the last two years. And um, we know they don't agree with that. That's the direction that we're operating under. Uh, the council's policy direction was to keep public safety expenses below 66 percent, and that's what we're doing here today. I thought we made it very clear that our proposal in health care is very aggressive. It's changing the dynamics of the way that the city currently um, manages their current health care plan. We are actually helping the city overt avoid almost $70 million in future expenses and medical expenses in the future over five years. Council votes on the 2016 budget next Thursday. No meetings between the city and police union have been scheduled before then.